Hello, I'm Miss Lena from Miss Lena's Kitchen. And today, I want to say first of all, I thank you for all my new subscribers, and I thank you for all the old ones, and I thank you for all the ones that is viewing uh, my channel. So I thank you so much, but I'm fixing to get on, and I'm going to start now. I'm going to do uh, salmon croquettes, but I will be doing them in two different versions today. Now, this one I'll be starting with is the pink salmon, okay? So, this is the honey bore pink salmon, okay? So, now I will be using, all right, all the ingredients that I have here is the plain uh, crumbs, all right, and the honey boy uh, pink salmon, and Hellman mayonnaise, ground, ground uh, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, a little lemon juice, table salt, white pepper, and uh, my cheese, my sour cream, and the bell peppers and onions. So I have the green bell peppers, the red green onions, and all three uh, yellow peppers, orange peppers, and, and the red peppers, and one egg. And this is the salmon here. So, okay, I'm getting ready to mix the salmon uh, with what I have here. I get a spoon. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. I had one egg. I've already put it in. So now, okay, now I'll be going to put in my sour cream. And I have two cans of uh, pink salmon in it. So I'm putting, this is like uh, maybe one fourth cup of sour cream. And I'll be doing about one fourth cup of Hellman mayonnaise also. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna blend this in just a little bit. And then I'm going to be pouring in my um, a little black pepper. I don't know. If I, I'm going to use the white pepper instead of black pepper. Okay, I'm going to use the white pepper instead of the black pepper. So I'll be putting in not a lot, just a little bit. Okay. Okay. And I will be putting in maybe like uh, two or three spoons drops of lemon juice. One, that's about four drops of lemon juice, okay? Now, I'll be putting in my bell pepper. This is about one fourth of a bell pepper. Okay, I'm just gonna put, all right, I'm just putting portions of this uh, bell pepper in, because I didn't, didn't do the three cans, I only do the two, okay? So now I'll be putting portions of the onion in also. This is about a half of an onion though, maybe a four. So, okay. All right, now I'm stirring it up. Trying to mix it in and get it all blended well. I'll use the smaller bowl so you can see it better but I may have to get a larger one because I've got to still put my breadcrumbs in. And I'm gonna see if this is gonna work. Okay, I had to get a little bit bigger bowl because I uh, this is a little bit more for me to show uh, the stir up so you can see it better, okay? This is my breadcrumbs, the plain, plain breadcrumbs. And I'm gonna be mixing it in till I get it firm because I would like when I do start the cooking, I like for them to stay together. I don't want them to break up. I don't want any juice left in them at all because all I have to do is just let them brown just a little bit, not even a whole lot. Because the salmon already, already cooked, it's already done rather. But these are salmon patties. 
in them. Like I said, there's two different versions of them. And all we have to do is just to let them brown. Okay? She'll be back once she start frying them. All right. I'm so sorry. When I was mixing it, I forgot. I started with my pepper and changed the bowls. And I didn't get my garlic powder or my onion powder in. So now I'm trying to pour it in. That's what you do when you're really busy. And this is always a motivated Monday to motivate yourself. And sometimes we just can't think of everything on Mondays from the weekend. Especially when we have some children around here on the weekend. And it makes you very busy. And you never finish. And when Monday morning comes, it's hard to get together. But anyway, I'm, I'm getting it together. So I'm getting ready to get started. All right. I'm going to get... Get my ear. I'm probably gonna get it anyway. All right. I'm gonna get my dipper so I can try to get them all the same size. Okay. And instead of me putting this in breadcrumbs, I'll be putting it in in the flour. So I'm trying to get them all the same size. They may not be that large because I'm trying to do it a little different. So they're gonna be a little bit smaller, okay? And I want you to see them as I go, okay. Let's turn my light on, or you'll be able to see what I'm doing, okay? Okay. I'm doing it this way in order to have all of them the same size. Okay. She'll be back once you get them all dipped, all dipped up. Okay. Now I'm ready to put them in the skillet. I'm thinking it's warm enough. It's just not quite, just a little bit. I have it down on medium low, so I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. So I don't want them to brown too fast. Just, just enough to uh, get them brown and sh let you see how they, how they look when I finish with them. All right, now I'm going to be dropping them in. I have one that may be just a little larger than the others because I had just a little bit more left. Okay. It's not, it's still getting warm. It's not quite warm enough, but it's headed that way. She'll be back as it started getting brown. Okay. I'm, I'm going to turn them over. They're kind of like they're in deep fries. Okay. So, I put enough grease on them to let them uh, brown, but let them cook thoroughly because I did have all of the uh, onions that were that needed to be cooked and uh, the bell peppers. So I'm going to turn them all over, and the colors are coming out real pretty. Okay. Okay. Just a little bit more, and they'll be ready to come out. All right, I'm ready to, uh, to take them out, so I'm going to cut my heat off. These are very pretty and brown, okay? Okay. 
okay? Now you can turn them over and everything. They won't fall apart. So this is uh, my uh, the Honey Boy Simon patties that I'm making. This is the first version of my uh, salmon croquettes. Now the others will be made, others will be made out of a, another type of uh, salmon, which is okay also. But I was gonna try the two versions and let you look at both versions and see whichever one that you prefer. Now the other can of uh, salmon that I'm gonna put on with this one, which they're already ready, uh, that, I, that came from Costco. This is just one that you can find at most stores, the Honey Boy. Okay. Now the others, I already have them ready to go into, into the grease, okay? I may have to strain the grease because of the peppers at the bottom. I don't know, they might be able to. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to try to see if they'll go ahead and cook also. Now this is the other version. I use the same thing in each one, except I didn't use the three the three other peppers that I'm going to use in this one. Okay. After darn it, I turned the heat off. I forgot I was going to put these in. Okay. So these are already pre already ready to go in. So they were made the same in the same direction with everything in it except for the, the different color peppers. That's it. They only have the green bell peppers. Okay. This one has kind of stuck a little bit. I had it covered up here. Okay, now I'm gonna let those cook and I'll be back shortly when they get ready to turn them over. Thank you. Okay, in this version, they're getting brown already, so I'm turning them over. Okay. That one's not quite as brown as the others. Sometimes I stove don't heat evenly, so that keeps my pans. Uh, I wanted you to see them because they're not falling apart anything. Okay, so I'll be back shortly. I just want you to see me turn them over. Thank you. Now they are now ready to uh, come out. Okay, and I'm going to uh, put them on a serving plate. Uh, just a second, so you can what you can serve them with. Okay. I'll be back just a minute when I get them on a serving plate. I want. All right. Now I'm back to show you. These are the two uh, versions of my salmon croquette. Okay. This is the one that came from what you call the live ocean. Now when you get these out, these are these came from Costco. And I'm sorry, but I already had them together because I was going to do two, and I forgot to leave them. Now, they will be in an orangey color when you take them out, but they are very pretty. They have no bones in them or anything. So all you have to do is just mash them up and do whatever. Do mm -hmm. you get them? Okay. Now, this is my honey bar. This is one that you can find at most all available grocery stores, such as Kroger's or Tom Thumbs Up, or I don't know about the other stores, but whatever stores is in the state where you live, most time you will find the honey bar. Uh, salmon because they've been out quite a few years. So these are the two versions that I have of the salmon croquettes. And you will find uh, the descriptions. I will be putting them in and uh, soon on my on the on, online so that you'll be able to find out. And if you want to know early sooner, just give me a comment and tell me that you're interested in 
seeing all of, all the descriptions, what it what it consists of, and which one. And I'll be glad to get it online as soon as I can. But normally my grandchildren are here and they usually put that online for me, the description. So anything that you need to know, I want to know about it. Just help yourself in, in your comments and let me know. And I'll try to get it on there as soon as I can. And I sure thank you so much for watching this video. And I want to still thank you today for all of my new subscribers and all of the old ones and all of the viewers. And I think to subscribe to my channel uh, as soon as you can, because I, I am doing having a contest and it will be over on Sunday, July, I mean, October 31st. And I sure thank you and we have a blessed day for Miss Lena's Kitchen. I love you all and be blessed. Thank you so much. I love you all. Bye-bye.